We haven't seen Theresa May since last night, leaving Parliament after saying she'd step down if MPs voted for her deal for leaving the EU. That did help some change their minds, but too many still have not. I'm not voting on the basis of who or who is not the Prime Minister. I'm voting on the basis of what in law does that treaty do to our country. It would make us a vassal state and I will never ever vote for that. The government is planning another vote on Brexit tomorrow to meet the EU's deadline. The European Council has agreed to an extension until the 22nd of May, provided that the withdrawal agreement is approved by the House of Commons this week. It is crucial that we make every effort to give effect to that and to allow the House to debate this important issue. But that vote may only be on the withdrawal agreement, the divorce, not the other part of the deal which sketches out the future relationship. If that's designed to get Labour votes, it doesn't sound promising. That would mean leaving the EU with absolutely no idea where we're heading. That cannot be acceptable uh, and we wouldn't vote for that. Meanwhile, the unofficial race for the top job has started. Here's just a few of the competitors. Good morning. Good morning. Do you want to be the next Prime morning. Minister? Morning. Home Secretary Sajid Javid. Um, Foreign you Secretary you Jeremy you Hunt. And, of course, Boris Johnson. But might they have to wait a bit longer? This former aide to Theresa May says the Prime Minister's left herself some wiggle room. What she's clearly saying is, if you vote for my deal, you can get rid of me, and that by the summer you'll have a new leader in place for the next stage of the negotiations. All bets are off if they don't vote for her deal. She is determined to get her deal through the Commons, but the numbers and time are still against her.